Hey guys, uh, in this video I wanted to show the Ultimate Lich Eater. Uh, this comparison on this cool Vespa tricycle thing that I found on Sketchfab. So the model itself is from Lux87, um, and I'll include a link in the description below. And yep, looks pretty cool, so let's check it out. The first thing that we'll need to do um, for, you know, we're gonna have to set up the material in Unity and in Ultimate Lich Shader. So we'll start with doing it for Ultimate Lich Shader. So just go to your shader, go to Oka Software, and then Ultimate Lich Shader. <clears throat> and then go to your base color, drag that in, your metallic, drag that in, your roughness, and your normal. And that'll be the cart. And we also need the AO. Uh, actually, that's the internal ground AO, so I don't think we'll need that. Um, so uh, then we're going to go ahead and right now it's using the default Unity one. So we can just duplicate it and then copy it over and then drag over this cart. So that's the ULS one. I just want to make sure that the Unity one is set up as well. Sometimes when the material imports, it doesn't have all the maps set up. So if we check here, we can see that it's missing the metallic map, the roughness map. Um, so let's go ahead and set that up. So this one we'll call cart ULS, and then we'll create another one, we'll call it cart unity, and then we'll configure the unity cart. Now the unity cart, um, we're gonna go ahead and switch back to the URP here. So go to URP Let's so we'll drag in our base color. Um, now the metallic map for Unity expects it to include in, um, a smoothness map in the um, metallic alpha channel. So we're going to use my other asset that I created. It's just a lightweight editor tool called Texture Channel Packer or Texture Sync. And we're going to drop in the metallic in the red channel so that'll be our red channel source and then we'll bring in our roughness in the alpha channel and the source for that will be red but we need to invert it so that should be good if we check this the red is good and then the alpha has that great so we'll just save that into our hi mom folder and we'll call it metallic smoothness. So now this material or texture, sorry, we can drag in here. I think the smoothness, we want to bring it up to one. And then we'll go ahead and drag and drop that onto the unity shader. That way we're comparing apples to apples. And we also need the normal map and the, okay, yep, that's it. So on the right hand, we have the Unity one. On the left hand, we have the Ultimate Live one. Now, you can kind of see some differences, and it's kind of cool to see where those differences are. Um, so you can see some slight lighting differences on the, the tires, for example. You can see the reflections in this sort of wheel house um, are slightly different color. You can see that this one kind of has a brighter specular look at like sort of this angle. This one has a little bit of specular going on, like maybe here and here. This one has a nice bright sort of specular lobe like right over here. And um, the metals themselves seem to catch a lot more light on ULS, whereas here the metals seem a bit darker. Doesn't seem to have too much to do with these options. On the ULS side, we can customize the exposure for the metalness and roughness textures. So that's pretty nice. If you think that the roughness is like a little bit too bright, you can just bring the exposure down or bring it up. Metal control, it's sort of like an additive factor um, that just overexposes or underexposes the entire texture. And same thing for metalness. Ah, and we want to make sure that these are all doing um, linear space. So this one should be, that one should be the base color. I believe this one is sRGB space. So 
that should be good as a normal is. So yeah, overall pretty similar, but definitely some slight differences. Like you can see here on the tires, these are a bit maybe shinier, whereas these have more, in my opinion, it feels a little bit more natural, the response of the light on these tires, kind of more similar to rubber. Um, taking a look at this part, I feel like the metal on the Ultimate Illustrator is maybe actually a little too bright. So I'm going to take a look at that. But I do quite like this super hot specular response right here. Uh, up through here, whereas it feels like the Unity one is a bit more toned down in that respect. Um, what else? This glass one isn't really working on either, so I just want to make sure that I remove that. And yeah, I mean, I think this overall is pretty cool. It's nice to compare it to Unity and see sort of where the differences are. Um, so you could decide which one you feel like would maybe be a better fit for your project. And um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. I think that both are pretty interesting and both have their use case, but it's good to have options and the ability to choose, uh, you know, a different lit shader that maybe has a slightly different response to help your game stand out compared to other games that are getting released from Unity. Uh, using Unity, sorry. And um, yeah, I really think that Ultimate Shader is definitely super cool, pretty interesting, and it's nice to have that option to help your game kind of stand out in the super crowded game dev market. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll include links to the Ultimate Lit Shader and to the Texture Channel Packer asset, which is free, um, in the description below. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.